excuse me, how did you escape the menagerie? Welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft where we're endlessly... Someone left the door open. Ah, I think I know why. Endless amounts of screaming goats. Do you know what? I'll do it for you. Ah! <laughs> Yep, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft where we are continuing our screaming goat hunt. Actually, I've only I've only actually got three, but I might as well add them to the pile. The wall of screaming goat. Nope, today we're going to do exactly what I said we were going to do in the end of the last episode. We're going to be taking a look at what on earth is going on up there. What I didn't see last episode is there's actually something to investigate down here. <laughs> like, that did look like Scar was just screaming there. The other Botan members are also intrigued by this, so why don't we meet up and have a read of what this lovely pair of glasses has to tell us. No! No! <laughs> no! 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 I threw away all my- No! Oh. And oh, now missed. we wait Look another that, five minutes to watch Scar's junk despawn. <laughs> Yay! Oh no! <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. There's more. Uh, you guys have seen the giant eye in the sky, right? We have? How can we not see oh, it at this point? Gross. Yeah. It's, it's actually it... gross. They've made the arms and legs out of the veins. Uh huh. Oh, I think it needs those eye drops, right? The clear eye stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The little bloodshot up there. It looks like it's. It bits. Looks like it's gonna body slam us as well. <laughs> it's coming in hot. <laughs> right. Let's have a little read of here. Okay. Greetings, Botum, with a capital E for some reason. Oh wait, did it just shift by itself? I didn't press net. Uh -oh. oh, it's it's going too quickly. Wait, we didn't get the time. Oh, that was me. I'm so sorry. Please say hello to Mr. Pew Pew, the free falling eyeball of peace. Uh -huh. He comes okay. with an offer of friendship between Big Eyes and Botum. We have ravaged each other with silly pranks for long enough. The time has come for us to put our differences behind us. Please accept Mr. Pew Pew and the gifts yeah. that he will soon be dropping as a token of our friendship. Oh, I, love, I love gifts. Mm. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, 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 no. Oh, what is that? Gosh, it, wait. What is, what is that? Is it ravages? Oh, that's ravages. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> They're all going for you. Oh, wait. Are they dying straight away? This is the least friendly thing ever. No, oh, no. 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 <laughs> wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no. No, my stuff. I'm no, I, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I just dug myself into a hole. <laughs> <laughs> How did oh they spawn gosh. this many? There were so many of them. No! It looked like four giant no! like, balls. Oh no! Oh no! Not the kinetic. Uh, guys, does this mean they've won? I think this means they've won. I can't get my. Oh, I can't oh, get my no. stuff. I thought the thing was a little lame with the I eyeball should... in the sky, but this is definitely better than what we did with the boat. I think that's the cake. Somebody do something! We call it gross. All right. right, my stuff. Oh, oh my stuff is no. free. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Keep yeah. it busy, keep I it busy, luring. keep it busy. Keep okay. it busy. There's one here, there's one here. I got him. Oh, no. I, I might be able to shields. scoop up some gear from everyone. Oh my gosh. Uh, not very well. Three down, guys. Ow. Just three down. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. They're meanie faces. Oh, jeez. This is oh, absolute chaos. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Okay, one more. Can one they more. Jump? They can jump. They can jump. Wait, did we kill oh. them all? Okay, I didn't kill any, so someone killed a lot. I, I, I killed a whole quite bunch. quite a few. <laughs> How? Yeah, I yeah. killed yeah. none. Did I? I killed Arrows. zero. <laughs> Jeez. Gosh, look at the look at the eyeball, dudes. Oh, Ew, like, oh it got even oh, oh, inside. Inside. And look at the moon. Oh. Why is the moon so big now? Pearl, it makes your base look tiny. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, man. That? The moon's not getting what bigger. We're getting like bigger. Stop it, big eyes. Oh, no, oh, you didn't. Tango. We ain't shopping at big eyes. So, oh, like, man. did they win? Because it... I I don't know how to top this. It I mean, sure feels yeah, like they won. To top that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, there's no way we're topping that. I have an idea. A bigger boat? Oh. <laughs> take off, really take off the screaming, excessive. take off the goat head, Scar. <laughs> it's yes. making you do you angry. feel better? <laughs> I do feel a little bit better. I feel a little enraged, to be honest with you. Well, um, we banded together and took care of however many hundred ravagers that was, so... 
No, we should have we should have, we should have led them into us? Mumbo's base and left them there. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh man, of course Mumbo's not here for this. Mumbo, I mean, Mumbo's I not here for the so meeting or the all the he's not here for the good times or the bad times. <laughs> exactly. Wait, didn't we fire him? Yeah, he's no longer the CEO. Yeah, that's that's, that's mm. the reason why he was demoted. Yeah, he's yep. the janitor. He should have been cleaning this up. In oh, fact, exactly. his new job as janitor is to clean up the giant eyeball in the sky. All right, we we got to let Mumbo know. Yeah, he's got he's got All a right. job. He's, he's I'm glad we're putting it to use. Everywhere I go, there's more and more goats. Yep, I'm getting pretty good at getting these guys now, and we shall add these to the symphony. <laughs> Ah! It's hideous. So, we had quite a magnificent drop of Ravagers straight into here, and there's only one left, and it's right over here, and he likes to bop me every time I pass. I forget that he's here, I walk along, and he pushes me. What I find incredibly impressive with this thing here is that it took a redstone signal from here and somehow transported it wirelessly up there. I'm guessing there's some kind of nether portal. That's the only way I can think of that would work, but I I don't know how it works. I've never seen anything like it. So in theory, we should see a nether portal of some kind. There's a dropper all the way down, and there's a nether portal. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so they used a nether port. That's so clever. But as they said here, the, t it, the time has come for us to put our differences behind us. Please accept Mr. Pew Pew and the gifts that he will be dropping. So basically they're saying this is this is the end of our feud. And um, I've got to say after that, I quite agree. I, I quite, quite agree. So over here at Big Eye Crew, they've got, they've got a jar full of nothing, pretty much. So I say what we do is we um, thoroughly accept. We're not, we're not, we're not losing here. There's, there's no, there's no defeat happening. It's kind of, kind of a defeat, but not really. We accept their gift. There we go. A fabulous big old present. Now, uh, just to seal the deal, there's a good old diamond block. This is the most profit. <laughs> this is the most profit that the Big Eye Cruise is going to make all season by the looks of things. Hold on. There's not a single diamond in here, from what I can see. They're about to make their first diamond! On behalf of Botum Incorporated, we accept your gift. Uh, you win. Yep, they- they win. That's it. You win! There you go, you saw it here first, folks. <laughs> Big Eye Crew won in a single power play involving far more Ravagers than I ever, ever have seen in vanilla Minecraft before. How they did that, I don't know. But one of the big reasons that we're actually giving in to the Big Eye crew, giving them the win, is because there is quite a big problem on the server at the moment. And I don't know how many of you have noticed this. Uh, well, I can't, I can't point it out right now. Yeah. Moon's big. Moon is not just big. Moon is <laughs> offensively big. I've never seen anything like it. Like, I never paid much attention to the moon before, but this just takes the cake. I, like, when I zoom in on the moon, it's so big it fills the screen. Now, here's something really interesting about the moon in Minecraft that I, I never thought I'd ever noticed before, but check this out. Okay, so it doesn't matter how far you... And this makes total sense, by the way. This makes total sense. But it doesn't matter how far away you travel... When you look up at the moon, it's always perfectly centered to you. So it doesn't matter how far... Little, little shake there. Little shake. <laughs> Big moon. Little shake. <laughs> this is fine. Wait, 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 wait. Let me do that again. Let me do that again. This is... This is fine. <laughs> this is totally fine. So I think it's probably a good idea that we don't have a feud with Big Eye Crew because... We've got a moon that's literally like the size of the sky. Now, to all the naysayers out there that said, Haha, moon's not that big. Yeah, say, say that again. Say it again. So, yeah, moon is 100% bigger, but it's always centered to the player. So basically what I'm saying is I would like to build an observatory to kind of track the size of the moon because it's getting bigger, but we don't know anything other than it's getting bigger. 
So what I was thinking is we could build an observatory and because it's centered on the player no matter where you go Look, it's always always bang in the middle So I was thinking we can pretty much build an observatory anywhere here is clearly the best place aesthetically for my base But the only issue is when you actually stand here This thing blocks the moon, but not until it's here will you be able to see it But anyway, I was thinking right here is where we build our observatory to keep track of the giant moon. I think it's a smashing idea. And just like that, the moon is gone. So without further ado, let's build ourselves a good old functional observatory up here on this hill. Maybe I can get one of the other Botum guys to give us a hand. What is this? Wait, 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 interrupt. No, no, no more further ado. No more further ado. That's the second thing I've seen. That looks a bit sus. There is no further context other than sus. Everyone's been saying there's weird stuff going on on the Hermitcraft server. Well, this is pretty weird. Okay, that is weird. Okay, without further ado again, let's go! Here it is, the observatory. And do you know what? There's an issue with circular buildings, is that there isn't a, there isn't a back to not complete, so you've got you've got to do the whole thing. I think this has actually come out really, really well. It's used every last drop of copper that I have left. But I went for a more modern approach. The only thing is that the telescope part of it actually has to kind of stop here because this building isn't just for the aesthetics, it isn't just to look good, which it kind of does. I'll pat myself on the back, I'm happy with this. It's actually functional. So, moon big, we know that, but how do we actually go ahead and measure it? Well, I thought what I could do is have my singular spot here, I look directly up and I've left some glass either side of here and we can mark the width of the moon right here and then in theory if it's growing and growing and growing we'll be able to mark each one or how, how wide it goes and kind of get an idea of just how fast this thing is growing at least that's the theory so all we need to do now is wait for the moon to rise and then we'll be able to make our very first measurement but just after I built this thing I <laughs> Spontaneously joined Cub Fans Leaf Spleef Tournament, which unfortunately I couldn't actually record for. So what I did was I, I had B dubs commentate for me. And this is what happened. Round one was against Exuma. Yes, we're yes. ready. Count us in. Versus <laughs> Exuma. Three, two, one, spleef. All right, here we go. Well, while I'm fighting right now, I just want to take this moment to announce I'm shutting down all of my shops at Bodum <laughs> and um, <laughs> any profits oh, that are in there. <laughs> and I won! <laughs> Yay, me! Which I won. Round two was against Pearl. Three, two, one, spleen! Let's go! Here I go, out <laughs> onto the leaves. Come in for you, waffle boy. Now I'm in focus oh, mode, now I'm close Ooh. to Pearl! Oh, it's oh, close. Okay. okay. Right, this, is fine. this is the longest match of the day. And then finally, the final round against Cub. Three, two, one, spleef! I'm gonna win this <laughs> thing. Oh, 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 has been eliminated. Oh, this was simple for me! <laughs> but it means that I went ahead and won a whole bunch of goodies. I put up my quick fix box as my entry prize. This is what someone would have won if I'd lost. But check it out. I won a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Uh, oh, not this one. <laughs> wither skull. Oh, wait. I could buy so many logs with this. Lots of wither skulls. A free perfect redstone service by B-dubs, which doesn't feel like a prize. A netherite ingot. And two armor stand tokens. All in all... Very worth just turning up and winning without saying a word. I've kind of ignored netherite ever since I lost my netherite stuff into the bottom hole. I've I've lost. Whoa, whoa midair shake. That makes no sense. 
How, how do I get the shakes in midair? As I was saying, I've kind of ignored netherite because every time I lose my stuff in the bottom hole, it's a bit of a nightmare to get back. So what do I use this netherite ingot on? I think it's got to be the pickaxe, right? My main pickaxe, Silky, is the one. And while we wait for our first moon measurement, we've got to wait for the sun to go down. I think now's probably a good time for some shameless self-promotion. Just a reminder that I've got a merch store out if you want to check it out. There is a link in the description. There's some really cool designs this year, just in time for the holiday season. And you can guarantee that it'll be there in time for the Christmas period if you order before the 5th of December. And don't worry, this won't be the only shameless self-promotion out there. So I'll keep this one short. Now we just gotta wait for the good old sun to go down. Okay, we're soon approaching midnight. That means we can get into position. Look straight up. And just when it's in line with us, we should be able to mark where it is. It's actually already on the cusp of being too wide. Oh, whoa. I think the moon's gonna cause a few problems around here. Okay, so how do we mark this out? Gotta make sure we're in the center. Yes, so that, the end of the chain, is exactly where the moon is right now. So if we mark two chains here, and look straight up, making sure we're in the middle of the block, that is pretty much a good way of marking it out. So that is currently the width. If it gets bigger, we should be able to open this up with more glass and mark it out as it goes. And if we count the days, it should give us an idea of how fast this thing is growing. But I mean, it took a couple of weeks for me and Mumbo to say, is it big to, oh my goodness, look at the size of this thing. What you need is some kind of context. Look at the size of the jet compared to the size of the moon. It makes me feel very small. I really love this build. I love the fact that it actually works in the sense that you can measure the width of the moon, and I think we should get some very valuable information from this. Why the moon is getting bigger? Nobody knows, but there's one thing that is most likely, is that these guys over here have literally been breaking the game this entire season, and that's not even a joke. They had lightning strikes on here, we saw some crazy stuff with whatever that machine was. And they managed to reset a chunk to have like eight different spawners. I would not be even remotely surprised to find out that this machine and this and everything else that's going on is connected in some way. But if it is, they are keeping very quiet about it. I definitely want to get rid of this dirt coin as soon as possible. I don't want to be holding on to this. Now that, that is a prize. Although I'm not entirely sure what a derp key is for. Okay, yeah, seriously, look at the size of the sun. Moon is big. I can't find anywhere where I can use this key. So I've, I've no idea what this is for. Now it's time to put all this stuff in my new storage system. So this building right here, I sort of joked about moving my storage system in there. But I actually realized that I could create quite a cool shop front, well not really a shop, but a shop looking building in here by making it kind of like the wand shop where if everything is stacked super high and really messily and I'm, I can call this building the chest monster. That's exactly what it's going to be called. It's going to be called the chest monster. It's going to be full of barrels and, and, uh, and chests and everything and it's just going to be stacked high so it'll be a super, super easy build and I think we could transform that quite easily. So what I think we'll do is we'll drop off all of this stuff. I'm definitely thinking that this building needs to be sort of a dark oak in style. And then I can just kind of go nuts with the amount of chests and barrels and stuff. So let's give this a quick go. Okay, so I clearly haven't finished the whole thing, but we do have a very distinct direction for where this is going. I'm thinking a chandelier in the middle, and I particularly do like these giant pile of barrels that are here that are all sort of really look like they're gonna fall over. I need to, the reason I've stopped is because I, I, I'm not quite sure how to progress. 
One thing's for sure, I think the floor is way too flat and sensible. We really need to make this place feel a bit more cramped, a bit more insane with the amount of stuff everywhere. It's already too organized, but I can say that I've already started putting loads of stuff in these barrels. This is, this is the chest monster. I guess it's the barrel monster as well. But this is, this is my new storage system, and I think it sums me up very well. From this point forward, you can pretty much expect me never to have a proper storage system. I tried it in season seven, you saw it, redstone and everything, and I just didn't use it, like at all. I put stuff in it and then it just, uh, I ended up reverting to a chest monster. So I should really just, in the future, in future seasons as well, just embrace the chest monster and try and, I don't know, I'm, I have a thing of just really enjoying looking for stuff like this way. So. This is, this is the future, everyone. Giant chest monster shops or storefronts or whatever it is. And it will be our second house on the front here that actually has an interior. And that feels pretty good as well, just from, yeah, I mean, like, looking, looking in the window. I know it's not finished, but it brings this area to life big time. So, I think that is all we have time for today. Quite a lot happened. We won Leaf Spleef. We have built ourselves an observatory of all things, which I'm pretty happy with. We had a, a, a lot of ravagers drop from this disgusting eyeball thing. And just a reminder, oh, and moon's big. Yeah, and the moon is big. So just a reminder that there is a link in the description if you're interested in some fancy merchandise. And I just want to say a massive thank you. For, I, I, there's another one. There's another one. A massive thank you, as always, for watching. And guess what? Mumbo gives me a lot of hard time for not finishing the back, but this is literally the back of his thing, and he hasn't done it. Right, well, that's it from me, everyone. Thank you very much, and I shall see you in the next episode. Good bye. I didn't take any damage from that. Weird things are happening.